Hi, welcome to Sunny Gold Dad. I'm Mark. If you're new here, please subscribe. Today we're going to carry on with the 6x4 layout and we're going to do some more work on it. Then go Railway Heritage Centre has just bought out a new Drumbo badge. The money raised from the sale of this is going to the restoration of Drumbo. If you'd like to purchase this one and help us with the restoration, I'll leave a link down below. I've been doing some work on the town scene. So I've taken some of the scale cast platform sections, scored them down the centre, snapped them in half, and then painted them up to look like uh, footpaths. I still have some more work to do on this to uh, highlight it and do some weathering on it. I've also been experimenting with the rail match colours here. I've got worn tarmac and new tarmac. And I've been painting these on the road surfaces to see how they look. I've tried to do some what looks like patching. I'm still work, still a work in progress with that. I um, still have to do the, the main roadway down through the street. I've also done this wire fencing here, which is going to be the car park for the station. So I'm going to show you how I make that now. So to make the fencing, I use some bamboo skewers, which I cut to length, depending on what height you want the fence. I got some of this Isopon repair aluminium mesh, which you get from sort of any auto traders. It's used for repairing bodywork. I need some glue, pen, ruler, some silver thread. And I'll show you how I put all that together now. So I'm using the same jig I've used before for making my fencing. I've got the same piece of wood with the eight foot centers. So all I do is simply take these. So these are the posts, place them in. So this fence is made in shorter sections. So I'm only putting about eight pent posts in. And on the jig here, I've drawn another line which this line represents an eight foot fence. So I can simply just push this up. And then when the wood meets that line, it's lined up. I know each one of those posts represents eight foot. So I can now paint them and then it leaves a section underneath which I can just put into the baseboard. There's the first coat of paint on there. It's going to take a couple of coats, so we'll let that one dry and then we'll put another one on. We're going to cut the sheet of eyes upon now. So using your scale ruler, mark off eight foot. Draw your line. This stuff is quite light, so you can actually just use a pair of scissors to cut through it. There we go, they've had a couple of coats of grey paint. So to give them a slightly weathered look, so they look a bit worn, I'm just going to go over them lightly with a bit of black wash. It just tones down the grey. So just over lightly with some black wash. Just gives them that a bit more weathered appearance. And we'll leave that to dry. Again, black wash is just black acrylic paint with water. Good runny mixture. All right, well, that's drying. We'll have a look at the fence. So what I've done with the fence is I've got some aluminium colored or it could be silver colored paint. And basically I just brush that over it 
just to uh, take away the shine of it. So it's dulled it down a little bit. Um, while I was in Lidl, I came across these pastels. And what I've been experimenting with doing with these is getting the pastel and just scraping off some of the pastel. So it gives you a, a red dust, which we can use to mimic rust. So take the brush, just dab it in, and then just rub it down in places just to give a little bit of a rust effect. Now you can fix the dust in place by doing a light coat of matte varnish or by using a spray of hairspray. To attach the fence to the posts, I'm using some silver thread and a needle. I'm just initially wrapping this around each post just to hold it in place. So once I've done one wire along the bottom, along the top, I will then glue down each post to hold it in place. So the fence has all been glued. It's all dry now. So now we're just going to put it in place. So we just line it up where we want to place it. And then just get the drill and drill some holes. And then we just place it in the holes. There we go. That's the fence in place. Hope you find that useful with the fence making. Little top tip for you. Little pots, great for uh, paint. Do not put white spirit in them because they dissolve holes and you end up with white spirit all over your layout. So please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.